What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to tonight's video and I've been inundated with messages all day from people asking me when I'm going to do a video around the whole FSG willing to sell Liverpool thing. Truth is, I was at my psychologist earlier on today. I'm only home but I also wanted to look and find as much information as I could before I speak on the subject. To me guys, this is one of those videos where I think I'll remember it forever. There are certain moments during my time both supporting Liverpool Football Club and of course in doing this on Anfield Agenda that I'll carry with me forever. The Barcelona comeback, the sale of the football club from Hicks and Gillette to FSG, albeit that was before I was a content creator. And Virgil van Dijk signing for Liverpool that day when we got that news from James Pearce and the picture of van Dijk holding up his Liverpool shirt in front of the Christmas tree. Just certain things that stick in your mind. I went to bed last night and I thought today was going to be a day where I woke up and my main topic was going to be the Champions League draw. And of course, I did a little video reacting to that earlier on. But today could be one of the most significant days for our football club. So we awoke today to the news from David Ornstein of The Athletic that FSG are willing to listen to offers both to sell Liverpool Football Club and indeed to take on investment. Maybe if they don't sell it entirely, they will sell a stake in it. It seems to be that the sheer volume of cash that came Chelsea's owner, Roman Abramovich, or certainly that the club was sold for, may have actually got FSG around to thinking, well, you know what? This could be the right time to sell Liverpool Football Club because they will make a handsome return on their investment. So now isn't the time for me to sit here and gloat about what I was right about or wrong about or speak about other things. We just need to figure out how realistic this is, what type of a time frame we could be looking at, and how it may impact Jurgen Klopp and the players. So let's start off with what may happen. So from what I can gather, Liverpool Football Club are still pressing ahead with signing Jude Bellingham, regardless of whether this is before or after the football club is sold or they take on investment. From what I've been led to believe, from what I've spoke from people I've spoken to today, and of course from my own source on this, which has been Something I've taken a lot of ridicule about over the past couple of, well, a couple of years really, but I've always been steadfast in saying that Jude Bellingham will be a Liverpool player when he leaves Dortmund. The caveat that I've always put in there was FSG and their unwillingness to spend money. Well, now it seems that that may be no longer a problem. Maybe with signing Bellingham before they sell it, you can increase the club's value maybe a little bit further, leave it in a good space for a new owner to come in and certainly go off maybe with a positive spin on it from the owners as they move off. If you look at it from another perspective of a new owner coming in who might be a bit looser with the purse strings, again, you can see how the affordability of Jude Bellingham suddenly becomes more realistic. If you add to that the fact that numerous papers today, including Madrid-friendly outlets, have said that Liverpool have edged ahead in this race. I have long told you that Jude Bellingham, if he has a straight choice of where he moves next, will be a Liverpool Football Club player. And all that I've ever asked is that when that happens, people give me the credit that I feel that I deserve. I've never looked for it in this industry in any other shape, but this was the one thing that I went out on a limb with because I knew my source was good. So again, there's double aspect to FSG selling the club. If anything, it now strengthens our hand in signing Bellingham. So I wanted to talk about that first. But let's look at FSG and what their tenure of the club has looked like. So they bought the club for around £300 million. A steal, if you look at it. But it was a an asset in distress, shall we say. The Hicks and Gillette tenure hadn't worked out. The financial landscape of the world had changed. And Royal Bank of Scotland called in their debt, which meant that FSG were the preferred bidders and they bought the club. They have since sold the stake in that club to Red Bird or Red Ball. I can never remember which one it is. Acquisitions, 11% for about $650 million, giving them the money that they've paid for the club back. And of course, if you wanted to include any outlays that they've put in for players or for main stands and stuff like that, you could, but I don't because the club literally pays that back through season tickets and whatnot. So FSG will stand to make a lot of money when they sell the club. We don't know yet what the exact value is, but we do know that they have asked the bank to start listening to interested parties. So who's going to buy the club? Well, the guy that was going to buy Manchester United has certainly been mentioned. The UK's richest man, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. He has 
links, of course, to Mercedes F1 team and to Toto Wolff in particular. And there was a picture circulating recently of John W. Henry with Toto Wolff and both of their wives. And we were thinking, is there anything to this picture? Is is it maybe just a coincidence? And Connor just wouldn't let it go. And he kept thinking and thinking and thinking. And then when this news broke today, Connor said to me, Craig, you know what? I wonder. I wonder is this maybe a sign that Jim Radcliffe could be one of the people who are interested in buying Liverpool Football Club. You also have a wealth ones, I believe, from the uh, the Middle East, shall we say, who are interested in buying the club. And look, there are moral issues that I'm sure we as Liverpool fans will have to ask ourselves, what type of owners do we want? But this is good news for me today, my friends, because I don't want to stick the boot into FSG at a time where they're actually doing what we all want them to do, or the majority of us want them to do. If they feel they can't take the club on any further, or they feel their financial fair play wasn't implemented like they believed it was going to be when they bought the club, then it does feel like the right time for them to move on. And I've never had any issues with FSG making a huge profit at the end of it, because much like if you or I bought a house, did up the garden, threw on an extension, converted the attic, put in the new kitchen, we sell it on down the line, we've increased the value of it, we then see the profits. I've no issues with that. They've never been taking money out of the club, they've never bled the club dry. But for me, they sold they were willing to sell us down the river for the Super League. That was unforgivable for me. All the other stuff I can understand, you know, you learn as you own a football club, but that was it for me. I could never trust them after that. So how am I feeling right now? Cautiously optimistic, but you know what? I do think this is for the best. And I think that we have to wait and see what new owners are coming into the club. But I do feel like a change would be good for everybody. I feel like it will... It will give the club a new lease of life. It will give the club a change. Because we spoke about Jurgen Klopp and the players. We spoke about perhaps some of them coming to a natural conclusion at the club. We spoke about maybe Jurgen Klopp's words having a certain impact or can only be repeated so many times and players will have heard them over and over again. And that's why you bring in new players. That's why you refresh the squad. New ideas, new mindset, new legs and new physicality, of course, brought in. But I think the same could be said in this time with the owners. They have certainly presided over ownership or their ownership of Liverpool Football Club in a successful time for us. They've given us Jurgen Klopp. We've seen the main stand develop, the Annie Road ends, Kirby training facility, the superstore around Anfield, the area, numerous other things. They've brought us Jurgen Klopp, though. That is the one big thing that I will be forever in their debt for. They gave us the best manager we could have asked for. We can speak about how they didn't give him the tools to do the job to the best of his ability, but... Again, if they've realised that now and they know that they're up against Manchester City and their wealth, they're up against Newcastle and their wealth, they look at Real Madrid, they look at other clubs and they think, we just, we just either we can't do it or we don't feel that it's the right way for us to operate. Either way, I'm just glad to hear that they are finally willing to sell up. I want to know what you guys think. What type of owners do you want? Because I know we're split on this as fans. I know there are a lot of Liverpool fans out there who don't want sugar daddy owners, who don't want money coming in from um, state-backed entities, shall we say. And I have to say, ideally, somebody like Sir Jim Ratcliffe or somebody like that to come in and buy the club, I would feel far more comfortable. But at the end of the day... It will be a balancing act because I don't believe anybody who is going to get to the position where they're going to spend billions and it will be in the billions on a football club. They're going to want to see their investment return and they're going to want to pay. They're going to want to see their finances return as well. Nobody buys football clubs really as a hobby these days. You know, football is big business. It wasn't really big business 20 years ago, but it certainly is now. So anybody who does come into the club will, of course, want to find new revenue streams, find new ways to start recouping some of the costs of the outlay that they're going to see. So we do have to be careful what we ask for because we've seen, look at Elon Musk as an example. He's taken over Twitter. There was a lot of people celebrating it, talking about free speech. First thing he does is come in, start charging for verification, lay off a load of the staff because he wants to increase, I'm sure, finances really. He wants to increase his money. So we do need to be a little bit careful. But all in all, I couldn't see here now look at you guys down the camera and say that I'm not absolutely delighted at the news that FSG are selling or willing to sell Liverpool Football Club. To me, this is a day I've waited for for a long time and I know a lot of you guys have as well. 
And I don't want to talk down today to people who have been supportive of FSG because I have always tried to be fair and balanced and see that there's been some positive stuff that they've done and some negative stuff. To me, it got to a point where that negative stuff outweighed the positive stuff. But here we are. What do you want? What type of owners do you want? For me, it's as simple as wanting Jurgen Klopp to be able to go and compete. Wanting Jurgen Klopp to have access to the same type of funds that the likes of Pep Guardiola or the likes of Eric Ten Hag, the likes of Carlo Ancelotti. I want Klopp to have access to those similar type of funds because if we've generated as much money now that we're in level terms with Manchester United with regard to the money we're bringing in, well, then I think it's about time that we start going out there and spending some of that money. So I feel like we are going to be in for a very interesting next six to 12 months i feel like we're gonna have two very good transfer windows coming up and i know people are going to reply to this on the bellingham situation and say well craig they won't want to spend the money before they go why would they go and spend 100 million on jude bellingham and then sell the club that's just taking money out of their pockets i don't look at it that way i genuinely feel that fsg are so concerned about positive pr that this as a goodbye if you want gesture to the fans and also i think it's a good way to sell the club it's a good attractive way to say look we're selling you a club that was in a champions league final last year that won two trophies that competed with manchester city for the league title we've started the rebuild we've just brought in jude bellingham who's a tremendous asset will be at the club for the future so i think this strengthens our hand in that so right now i'm sitting here and i'm very optimistic and i'm very happy and I'm looking forward to the day that I get to see here and speak about the new owners and who they are. And we get to hear what their outlook for the club is because it is the right time in my eyes for FSC to sell up. And I'm very much looking forward to wearing the I told you so t-shirt when we signed Jude Bellingham. Because I know a lot of you think I'm a spoofer. I know a lot of you think badly of me. But there are also a lot of people who do believe what I've said. And to those people, we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun when Bellingham arrives at Liverpool. We're going to have fun watching him, but we're going to have fun as well. Just, just enjoying the ride because that's what this is all about. So look, I, I sat back today and I thought about how I was going to make this video, which angle I was going to approach it with. Was I going to be scathing in my assessment of FSG? Was I going to stick the boot in? But ultimately, I don't feel there's a need to. If they're selling the club, it's the right thing. We will get what we have asked for, those of us who think it is the right time for them to sell up. But I'm really interested to know your opinion. And for all you people who will be replying about the Bellingham stuff, just to say we're not going to get them. I've heard it all before, but I've continued to say the same thing. I continue to believe the same thing. And I continue to ask you the same thing. When it happens, just give me my acknowledgement. Just say, you know what, man? You were right. I think you're an arsehole and a lot of stuff, but you were right on this one. So look, I'm off to do a live stream now. I feel like it's going to be one of the most memorable live streams I've ever done as a content creator because there's going to be a mix of emotions tonight. But what we know right now is FSG are willing to listen to offers for the football club. They have asked a bank, I don't want to name the bank and give them the publicity, to look at potential invested party or interested parties. And I think, again, just going off what I've read and my gut feeling, I think this will be a sale. I don't think they'll take on the investment. I think they'll look to get out, and I think this will be a sale. That's my take on it. Let me know yours in the comment section. Again, I want to thank you for your continued support of our channel. We keep going from strength to strength. It's only because of you guys and your amazing support. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you over on Twitch for a live stream very soon. But right now, two things to remember tonight. FSG are putting the club up for sale, and Craig's always right about Jude Bellingham. Just put those in your head, and we'll be just fine. Much love, folks. Talk to you soon.